Alright people, today we're going to go to Wholesale Tropicals. It's been a while since I've been there, so I thought I'd treat myself today. So I'm giving myself a £50 budget. And um, yeah, let's just see what we can find. All right, people, we are in Wholesale Tropicals right now. Uh, the shop floor is kind of busy, so I just went upstairs. All the tanks are in that. And yo, people, my voice has almost gone again, but you won't believe what I found, man. So I basically came to get like a bottom dweller for the 240, and I wasn't really sure what to get. Um, I was thinking about getting a Pleco, and I was looking around. And I did see a few nice ones. However, they weren't really in my 50 pound budget. And I came across a few other fish as well, but once again, they weren't really like hitting me on that spot, you know. But yo people as i was looking at the tanks i just suddenly see two sharks looking at me right and i just thought yeah oh, nah i need to get one asap now of course they're not real sharks they are stormy catfish but people i'm telling you the way they swim their fin positioning and all that they actually look like sharks now um they are over my 50 pound budget a lot more like basically twice as much but you know what people i can't lie this is going to be an impulse buy but i want them so let's go and get them right now i'll keep it real though i do need to work on my impulse buying And we are back. Oh, but days, people. I can't believe I bought myself a stormy catfish today. Yo. Now, before I show you the stormy catfish, I actually got another fish. That is this one right here. That is a loach. I believe this one's called the Bengal loach. And I bought him so he can help me deal with the pest snails because yeah the assassin snails they are kind of eating some of the pest snails but the pest snails are reproducing much faster than the assassin snails are eating them so i need to get some backup and i'm hoping this loach will do the job but yeah that's the only other thing i bought really now let's get to the catfish yo people look how big this bag is oh amazing look at it man it literally looks like a shark. Oh my days, people. Oh, they are so amazing. Now, I knew about stormy catfish and I've seen them before. However, they were always a little bit too expensive for me. Like the last ones I saw, I think they were going for like 250 pounds. So when I saw them in wholesale tropicals for 125, I just had to grab one. And people, I'm telling you, they literally look like sharks. I mean, there's a few fish that kind of look like sharks, but these, just the way they swim and the size they get, like, yo, duh, I can't wait. Now, I've also bought some feeder shrimp, just one portion. So they are going to be the food. So I will be feeding these to the stormy catfish alongside some other things like bloodworms and prawns. I'm going to try out a few different things. However, these feeder shrimps is what they were feeding them at the store. And yeah, I thought I might as well get some as well. They weren't too bad. It was like £1.25 portion. Now, people, I'll keep it real. <laughs> this was an impulse buy. Um, like I said, my budget was £50 today and I completely went over. It did best be up a little bit. I've got no budget for the rest of the videos this month. However, it was so totally worth it. Because, yo, this little guy. Oh, my days, man. People, you're going to have to help me think of a name. Because we need something really, really cool for this shark, man. I mean, catfish. Now, the catfish won't be going into the 200. He's actually going to go straight into the 240. Because, yeah, they do get kind of big. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to keep this fish for its whole life. Unless if I decide to ever get an even bigger fish tank but right now it looks like i'll probably keep this fish for a few years and when he gets a bit too big i'll probably sell him on i mean i could even give him away to one of 
you guys who knows shouldn't be a problem as long as you live in the uk but yeah people i am so excited to put these fish in man now people as always i'm going to keep these fish for a little while make sure that i'm doing everything correctly figure out what they eat and all of that and then i'll post an update and of course a complete care guide on how to look after them now i can't lie i wish i could keep talking but people my voice is starting to go again this is taking forever to heal man but yeah i guess it's time to add the fish to the 240 liter Oh my god, people, I just released the stormy catfish and it is actually a shark, man. Oh my days, it looks absolutely amazing the way it is swimming about the tank and it's kind of like swimming amongst the plants and all of that as well and it just looks so cool and the way it swims it actually looks like a shark and like i don't know how to explain it man but it's literally a mini shark financially i messed myself up for this month but yo i can't lie it was actually worth it now i guess the most difficult part is going to be the feeding i do have those feeder shrimps but i'm not sure how easy it's going to be for him to catch those because there's a a lot of hiding spots in that tank so i'm probably gonna have to try and get it on some prawns or blood worms or something meaty you know so i'm gonna have to do a bit of experimenting but other than that it looks like it's a perfect fit for the 240 i can't wait i am so excited to watch this fish grow now also don't worry people lily is gonna be moving very very soon she's gonna be moving into the 240 as well i want her to be able to pick out her cave and get more comfortable before that tank gets too full so yeah that's gonna come soon as well now the loach looks quite cool as well um i haven't seen it eat any pest snails yet but just in itself the patterns like a yellow and black kind of looks like a tiger and yeah it's just quite cool to watch as well so we'll see what happens with that and we'll see what happens with the stormy catfish make sure you keep an eye out for the update if you want to see more videos like this every single week then please remember to like and subscribe it really helps me out and yeah if you want to see how i set up my fluval roma 240 then click right here